Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back at probably my favourite church in Surrey. Well, one of two actually, one of two. I'm back at St Peter uh, and St Paul's Church in Chaldon, which is a very ancient church, goes back to Saxon times in its foundation, Saxon origins. St Peter and St Paul's Church in Chaldon and an ancient pilgrim church right there. I mean, Chaldon's a very ancient parish as well. By the way, it's so overcast today. It's end, couldn't know, mid-May. It's going up to 20, 21 degrees from tomorrow, but today's only like 16, 17 degrees, it's a bit near. But um, I wanted to come back here because not only is this the subject of my very first video on this channel, back from March 2018, and I've been here since, obviously, I've came here a couple of years ago with Andrew Norris. Um, but it's got the, obviously, the famous medieval mural, which we're going to have a look at. There is a little bit of rain in the air, but it's cool, it's cool. But um, let's go and have a look. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I just love this church. And I thought, well, it's been a couple of years since we've been here last, and that's just about a year and a half. Um, let's have a look inside. This church was first mentioned in the 700s. So really, I'm going back. I said earlier, Chaldon is a very ancient parish. We just outside Croydon, not very far. I just felt like I wanted to come back here. Um, I also think there's, those who follow my dowsing journey, I think there's an earth energy current coming through this church, which we detected last time when I was here, um, <clears throat> which was with Andrew. I'll just slot in that clip here, just so you know what we're talking about. So here at Jordan Church, I've mentioned this before when I did some dowsing a couple of years ago, that I think there's some strong energy currents going through Surrey. Uh, I've doused around sort of West Humble Chapel, places like that, and um, uh, Brett Butchworth Castle. I want, I've always wanted to just do a quick bit of dowsing here. I'm not actually going to be dowsing the whole landscape, just see if there is energy, energy currents coming through just by asking my rods here. Now you these, found some at Betchworth, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, more prominently at West Humble Chapel. Right. Uh, I did a, vi a video with Richard Vaux, the Ball Explorers, that had about 15,000 hits uh, of me showing some dowsing, which is really good. Yeah. But I'm using my, I don't know how well you see these on camera, these are my dowsing rods. I've had these for, oh gosh, 25 years, 27 years. So I'm just going to, and I hold them upside down like this. Mm -hmm. So dowsing is a very ancient, ancient technique. Um, most people use it for water divining, that kind of thing. I don't do it for that. I do it for water, uh, looking for earth energy currents. Um, I don't think there's anything actually that mystical in it. I think it's just our natural electromagnetic uh, energy going through our bodies, connecting with the landscape. So this, if nothing happens, I won't put it in the video. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, if I ask a question, it's a positive, it crosses. If it's a negative, it's out. Okay. And I'll actually ask the question out loud. Is there an earth energy current coming through Children Church? Is there an earth energy current coming through? And you're oh, very strong, very strong. I'll do it once more. Is there an earth energy current coming through Children Church? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to try and do now is just see which way it's coming from. So um, can you show me this flow of energy where it's directed to? Which way is the energy going, please? Which way is the energy going, please? There. Okay, so it's going straight through the side of the church. Most energy currents, they, they weave like a snake, you know, expand, contract, expand, contract. It's a natural earth energy current that goes around the planet. Um, I'll do it once more. Can you please show me which way the earth energy current goes, please? Which way does it flow? Which way does it flow? Right there. Okay, it goes up through there. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's coming down from St. Catherine's Church down at Merstham. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done some dowsing there before. So that makes a lot of sense. Once again, I've said this so many times, why are these ancient structures built where they were, where our ancestors are much more in tune with the landscape than we are today. And this is it. 
the famous Doom mural from about the 1100s, unparalleled in most of Europe, this wall painting, probably the best preserved wall painting in the country as well as Europe. The Ladder of Salvation and Purgatory. It was probably painted by a travelling monk or artist. Um, and it's absolutely spectacular. Rediscovered in the Victorian era when they were re removing some of the whitewash. I mean, how many hidden gems are still behind whitewashed buildings in churches in this country? But it's absolutely beautiful, <clears throat> as you can see. I think I once said it's the graphic novel of its day. This present building is probably from the 10th century, but it's still on Saxon uh, foundations. Some of the Saxon stonework still here. But uh, yeah, with Chaldon, what makes this church unique is the medieval wall painting, which is just absolutely spectacular. If you're in the area, this place is always open. Always, every time I come here, it's always open. Just off the beaten path, we've got the North Downs Way just over there and the Pilgrim's Way. It's, it's absolutely lovely, lovely church. Lovely stained glass window there. Oh, that's quite interesting. I remember seeing this last time. The, um, it says here, the bell of this church, which was cast about 750 years ago, uh, and the oldest in the country was stolen in July 1970, and it was never recovered. A second bell dedicated to St Peter was lost in the 18th century. So, uh, yeah, I'm on the GoPro, by the way, so sorry if it's a bit low light, but it's not too bad in here. You walk in, the lights automatically come on. This is great. Please feel free to borrow a book from the church windowsill and take home to read. Isn't that great? God in lockdown. <laughs> Don't get me started on lockdown. Got some ancient tombs here, 1760. George Piggott, 1800. This one's very old, but I'm sure in the church archives we can find out what it says. Uh, this one is Mr. Robert Roan, citizen. The way it's, the way citizen is spelled. I don't know if you can see that too well. And that was 30th year of his age, 1707, I think that is, 1689. Thomas Roan of this parish, a gent, don't say gent anymore, do you? And William Lambert, gent, who departed his life 3rd of March, 1656. I'm not going to go into detail, but here they've got all the explanations for all the artwork of the, uh, of the mural, which is really interesting. It's really good. So what I'm going to do is put my bag down and just do a little bit of dowsing in this church and just see if there is a current coming through actually within. I picked up the edge of it outside originally two a year and a half ago, but I'm interested to see if there's actually a current that comes through here. Now I can't douse and video at the same time, so I might just have to lock it off and hope for the best. Let's have, a, let's have a look and see what we can do. There's actually no earth energy current that comes through this church, it's actually outside. So I'll be just skipping on the edge of the, uh, of the building. So that's interesting, that's very interesting. Um, so I'll, when we go outside, I'll have another look at that and just see what we can pick up on. I'm getting a bit of a head in here actually, what I call my whoosh head. 
so it could still be on an energy current, but it might not be prevalent <coughs> within the church itself. I love this. I love this. Very pagan. Very pagan indeed. <laughs> Such a great church. It's so peaceful, so peaceful. The church is really good. Look, they've got um, lots of information about the mural, which is really cool. Which is also it's quite comprehensive on their website. And this lovely information plate you can walk around with about the ancient font, which is. Um, Square in shape and is the only one of its type in Surrey. Okay, it's interesting. And the wall painting from the tw late 12th century and is out equal in any other part of the country. So, yeah, thank you, Children Church. And there's a bell up there. I've never seen that. I've, I haven't noticed that before. It might be a bit on the camera and not very well presented, but there we go. Fragile plaster casts, please do not touch. It says, okay, of course we won't because it's right up there. That's amazing. And as I leave Children Church, this is a week before I've got a couple of days down in my happy place, Avebury. I'm going to the, back to the Avebury landscape. Do a load of videos from down there, meditation, get in contact with our ancestors. So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't been to Avebury for all about a year and a half. Um, so that's going to be great. Staying in a really very new age B&B, &B, which would be great. A bit of dowsing down there, um, looking forward to it. Weather looks okay so far. Um, yeah. Right, let's pop outside. Okay, we've got a little bit of rain coming down. It did say it's going to rain, so it's not like surprising or anything. Um, so it might be a bit hard to do any dowsing. Um, I don't want to get wet, do I? You don't want your intrepid explorer getting soaked. By the way, we've got lunch in a minute at the Harrow, which we have been to before a few times with uh, Mr. Norris. Um, but I might just... Uh, Have another quick look at this beautiful churches before we have a look at the dowsing. So I got the hood up just briefly because it's not a rain, not that heavy, but anyway, I'm going to use one rod to see if I can pick up that energy line from where it was before. So let's have a go. It was about over there in the original clip. Let's just see where we, if we can find it. Can you show me the energy current, please, that goes through Children Church? Can you show me the energy current that goes through Children Church? Yeah, right there. Right there. Quite powerful. I'm going to do it from the other, other entrance. This is only one side of the um, energy current. Can you show me which way the energy current flows, please? Can you show me where it turns? Where it turns? Thank you very much. Can you show me where it turns? Yeah. A little tingle in my hand there. Just going up towards the fields at the back there. So one wonders where the other side, because obviously uh, an energy current weaves and contracts like a serpent. So you have the outer and the inner. Usually they're sort of like a few feet apart, can be a bit wider. So let's just see if we can find where the, uh, where the other half, sorry, where the other side of the energy current is. Let's show me where the other side of the energy current flows, please. The other side of the energy current. Where's the other side of the energy current? Right there. Oh, okay. Let's, see. let's try that again. Show me where the other side of the energy current flows, please. Right, so from here to about here. So about 10 foot probably. But that's a, that's a weaves and contract, contracts, uh, weaves and contracts as it goes across the landscape. So I could probably pick up the energy signature 
down by the road. Um, and it's raining, so it's hard to concentrate really. Um, that's why I can't video really and do dowsing at the same time. So uh, if the rain stops, I'll go down and have a look at that in a second. If those remember a couple of years ago, uh, 2020, I was doing the Wessex dowsing project, which I sort of discovered, I think, uh, a major earth energy current that goes through the south of England and called it the Wessex Serpent Trail. That's it, the Wessex Serpent Trail. And, um, you know, it could be a number of them. There's so many earth energy currents that haven't been detected. Um, now, I'm not uh, earth energy sort of dowsing and ley lines are all sort of interconnected. I'm not a big, big ley line person. I think a lot of it is wishful thinking. Um, trying to connect the dots that aren't there each of their own um but when i am dowsing i do look for okay what sacred sites are on this path or on this trail this route like children church here although the the current doesn't go through the church just skims the outside so it's quite interesting um i've been in churches when you can douse actually inside and you know you pick up the earth energy current um these just like electromagnetic fields they weave as i said by like a serpent across the landscape around the world uh, and it's great trying to detect them but dowsing you can use for many 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 things you know you lost your car keys just douse for them be interested you'll be quite surprised by the results is it still raining yeah it's still raining oh god um it's not raining hard i knew it's gonna rain i you know when you're coming out and, and doing field work as i like to I love that word field work coming out and doing field work you're always looking at the uh, weather forecast so next week for Avebury is looking okay-ish by the time of this recording, uh, sorry, by the time you've seen this, I've probably been and come back and you might have even seen some of them. Um, but yeah, it's all good. The rain has stopped. Just come out into the uh, churchyard at Children Church. So the energy current could be going that way, heading down to Happy Valley. It's lovely, look at the uh, that landscape. Look at that. The Chaldon Khan. We built this Khan on Lost Species Day 2019, after a requiem service to raise awareness of the many species eradicated by human activity. Well, you can't say fairer than that, really, can you? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely to be outside. Yeah, if you're ever near the area, do come to Children's Church. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to expand that dowsing a little bit more and try and do a bit more work on that. But I'm not going to do it today because the weather's a bit crap. Um, so let's head down to the Harrow for lunch, which is a lovely pub we've been to before, as I said. And uh, let's go. So as we're here quickly, I wanted to show you, I know I've shown it before in other videos, 
White Hill Tower. Lots of White Hill Tower, folly from the uh, 1860s, I think. In dedication to the landowner's uh, son who was lost at sea. White Hill Tower, fantastic. It was a barky dog. <laughs> so I made haste. Right, on to the Harrow, let's have lunch. A lovely meal in the Harrow. As we conclude this video from Chaldon, um, I will list my uh, playlist to all my dowsing videos below. Also, some of the Chaldon videos we've done before, if you want to research them. But it's been lovely. I'm sorry the weather's a bit crap. It's starting to rain now again, but hey, it's 20 degrees tomorrow, so go figure. Um, but I hope you're having a great day. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>